is Mr. Norman Brinker, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Chili's Restaurants, who made his first successful foray into the world of work by starting a rabbit farm and a newspaper route at the age of 10. Before that, he was just lying around the house doing nothing. After an unusual military career in which he competed as a member of the U.S. equestrian jumping team and the U.S. Olympic pentathlon team, and that is some event, Brinker, with a $6,000 investment, opened a restaurant called Steak and Ale, or as we'd say in Australia, Steak and Isle. He sold the chain to Pillsbury just 10 years later. The $6,000 was now worth $100 million. He was named president of Pillsbury's Restaurant Group, the world's second largest, in 1982. Then he left the position to accept the chairmanship of Chili's, a small Dallas-based restaurant chain, and from 25 restaurants with a total equity of $2 million, just two years ago, Chili's anticipates growth to 53 restaurants in eight states and 23 million by July of this year. So you see, making it doesn't mean you just quit. You just keep going. So the Horatio Alger Award will now be presented to Mr. Norman Breaker by 1983 awardee Tom Landry. Thank you. As I look over this magnificent group this evening in this beautiful hotel, it reminds me to ask the question, why? Why did this happen to me? And I think there are probably just three or four reasons. Dreams, luck, opportunity, and of course, perseverance. I was, my first dream was that of owning a horse. I lived on a small farm in Roswell, New Mexico, and on weekends, some of my friends would go off on their horses and I couldn't go because I didn't own one. And I would walk behind the barn. I knew my parents couldn't afford to buy it, so I would shed a tear or two, say, someday I, too, will have a horse. So putting that into action then came my first opportunity, which was a paperboy for the Roswell Daily Record. And then after amassing some capital, I got into the, ra to the rabbit business. And those of you who have been in the rabbit business understand an immediate problem I had. I was constantly short of funds because I had to invest more capital to build more hutches. And as I would say to my father, what am I going to do now? He said, a very good lesson, Sonny, you got into it, you get out of it. <laughs> it also taught me another very good lesson. That is one I've never forgotten, that is sales must equal production. And that, then came another dream. I got my horse and on to another. And in 1949, I was a member of the United States equestrian team. And in 1952, another dream, a member of the United States Olympic equestrian team. Another dream, 1954, a member of the modern pentathlon team. And I looked in the, and was understood and began to understand what marvelous athletes and teams do and how they win versus the also rams. From that day to this, I simply think of business as a game. To me, it's a marvelous, marvelous game. It's a lot like polo. First, you set your goals, and then you look for the very best people that you can. Bring them on to share your dreams and aspirations with you. So as it has been through life, I've been very fortunate, very fortunate indeed, in finding a lot of people to join with me in a most spectacular way. So in summary, I'm very, very grateful. I'm very grateful for parents, my father who always said, why not, go on if you can do it, and a mother who said, it's marvelous to do things, do your best and do your best, but be certain you remember that you give back to those who helped you along the way. I'm also very blessed for my family who's been very supportive, my beautiful wife Nancy, who does so much to help so many others in her way. In fact then, with great humility, 
I accept this tonight on behalf of all those marvelous people who have helped me along the way. So in fact, isn't it exciting? Isn't it exciting what happens when you dream? But even more exciting is I was thinking tonight, all of us out here tonight with our own dreams to know that is just the beginning. Thank you.